Welcome to this MicroFocus Zenworks video presentation. My name is Darren Vandenboss, Product Manager for the Zenworks Security Products. Zenworks provides a unified solution for managing, securing, and protecting endpoint devices. In addition to managing the lifecycle of your endpoints, from operating system provisioning to remote management to application delivery and policy configuration, Zenworks secures your endpoints against common everyday vulnerabilities while also protecting, through encryption, the sensitive company data that lives on those endpoints. Core to this solution is the ability to manage based on identity, either the device or the user, using a single console that unifies your experience and lets you focus on what is most important, managing, securing, and protecting your endpoints. Zenworks 2020 provides significant advancements in each of these three areas. This presentation addresses what's new to help you secure your devices. Additional video presentations are also available for what's new to help you manage and protect your devices. The secure theme in Zenworks 2020 identifies the need for a security focused view of software vulnerabilities that enables you to easily identify which devices are impacted, quickly remediate those devices, and accurately track the remediation across all impacted devices. To deliver on this theme, we introduced the use of industry standard Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, or CVEs. CVEs are software security vulnerabilities that have been discovered, reported, and assigned a CVE ID at MITRE.org. The U.S. National Vulnerability Database takes the CVE IDs and enhances the data by applying its Common Vulnerability Scoring System to determine severity. Zenworks imports CVE data from the NVD at least once a day and creates relationships between each CVE and its associated patches. Once a scan is performed on a device to discover which patches are installed, Zenworks determines if the device is vulnerable to any known CVEs. Now, let's explore what this looks like in Zenworks and how you can use it. I've logged into Zenworks Control Center and open the security dashboard added in Zenworks 2020. The dashboard provides three default CVE dashlets located along the left, which I can use to identify, track, and remediate the software vulnerabilities that impact my devices. The default CVE severity distribution dashlet shows me that there are 1,129 CVEs that are applicable to my devices, with 32 of them rated critical and 756 rated high. I customized the default dashlet to create two additional views that I feel will be helpful to me. The first shows the severity distribution for Microsoft CVEs that apply to my Windows 10 devices. And the second shows the distribution for Adobe CVEs across all of my devices. The default top CVEs dashlet shows the 10 most recently published CVEs. When I mouse over one of the CVEs, I see the number of vulnerable devices. I've also created custom dashlets to show the 10 CVEs with the highest severity scores and the 10 CVEs with the most number of vulnerable devices. The default CVE tracker dashlet lets me create dashlets to focus attention on specific CVEs. I've created this tracker that I'll come back to in a few minutes. Being able to see the vulnerability status of my devices is an important first step, but the ultimate goal is to fix the vulnerabilities. Let's look at a recent vulnerability as an example of how Zenworks can help me accomplish this. In September 2019, Microsoft re released a series of out-of-band emergency patches to resolve a remote code execution vulnerability in Internet Explorer. This vulnerability was given an ID of CVE-2019-1367. Looking at the top CVEs dashlet, I see that this CVE is one of the recently released vulnerabilities impacting my devices. Expanding the dashlet, I see four devices with this vulnerability. To easily address this vulnerability on all devices, I can select the CVE, click Deploy Remediation, and select Windows Devices. Zenworks automatically downloads the patches required to remediate the devices and installs them on the schedule I define, 
either immediately or at a later date. Each device receives only the patches required to remediate it. That's an easy way to remediate the vulnerability on all impacted devices, but I might not want to remediate all devices at one time. Or maybe I simply want more information before taking action. In this case, I can view the CVE details. The CVE includes information provided by the National Vulnerability Database. It also lists the devices to which the CVE applies. If I don't want to remediate all devices immediately, this page helps me know if they will be remediated automatically or if I need to take some action. For example, I can see that this Windows 10 device requires a patch and that patch is assigned to be installed. When I click the assignment, I see that the patch is included in a patch policy that is scheduled to be enforced on the third Sunday of the month. However, when I look at this Windows 7 device, I see that it also requires a patch, but that patch is not assigned to be installed, which means I either need to deploy the remediation or include the patch in a patch policy assigned to the device. The CVE also shows the patches that remediate the vulnerability. In this case, there are three patches that remediate my four devices. I mentioned earlier that Microsoft released a series of patches for the vulnerability with later ones replacing the earlier ones. I can show disabled patches to see the entire list of patches. Applying any of these patches fixes the vulnerability. Zenworks recognizes this and keeps track of patch supersedence to ensure accurate vulnerability status in situations like this. Earlier, I mentioned the CVE Tracker Dashlet. A tracker dashlet like this lets me focus attention on the 1367 vulnerability. When I mouse over the dashlet chart, I see that the CVE is applicable to six Windows devices and that four are still vulnerable. The horizontal arrow indicates that the number of vulnerable devices has not increased or decreased during the last measured period. When I expand the dashlet, I see the six devices and their current vulnerability status. I can also see the vulnerability trend since the tracker was created. This information helps me evaluate the remediation progress and make adjustments if necessary to the way I'm remediating the vulnerability. As with other dashlets, if I decide that I want to fix the vulnerability now, I can select the vulnerable devices and deploy the remediation. Now that you've seen the demo, go ahead and try it out. If you have a Zenworks Patch Management subscription, you can do everything you saw in this demo. If you don't have a subscription, you can use the full featured built-in evaluation for 60 days. In either case, you'll want to use the new Video Assisted Security Getting Started page in Zenworks Control Center to guide you through the setup. Lastly, there are many more new features in Zenworks 2020 that you'll want to know more about. Visit the Zenworks community site for more videos, blogs, and webinars. Thanks for joining.